but it's, it's, it's a really great tune. I think it actually comes from Tommy Jackson. He may have even composed it, but uh, Wyman had a really great take on it. But I'll give you kind of my take on the tune. Uh, so it's in C, and it's, it's, I like it too because it's like the first part's kind of like a rag, like uh, East Tennessee blues, and then the second part's kind of like just a regular hoedown. So we'll, we'll play a little bit of this here. And so let's find C here. Everybody's in tune, I assume, with their tuners and whatnot. Let's first just like play, uh, let's play a C arpeggio, you know, let's just see if we can do that. Start here on this C. So here we go. We're going to play C, E, G, C, right? Okay, and without shifting, there's three more notes we could play. We could start with the open G and go all the way up to the G on the E string and it'd still be in the C chord. So let's do that. Start on the open G. Here we go. Okay, so uh, so uh, this tune uses some chords. So let's figure out a few chords here first. Uh, one of the chords that the thing actually opens with a chord using the G on the E string with the fingered E on the A string, like. That chord there. Okay. Now, some people shift to play that, which is perfectly okay. I do sometimes when I'm playing, I might play it one way, one time through, and shift. So if you shifted, you'd put your first finger on the G, and then play the E. It's not quite such a stretch, so put your first finger on the G, and then play the E with your third finger. Okay. Okay. So, so the first little bit of the tune goes like this. Let's see if I can just play the first little bit. Because this is probably the hardest part of the tune is getting the chords there. So that's like that. That's like the crux of the whole tune there. The rest of it's pretty much single note stuff. So let me just play that again for you. So we start out like. So I usually start out with this chord here with a G on the D string and the C on the A string. Try that. So really, really the notes would be, you know, if you just played it single note, it would kind of be. But we're going to make chords on all those. So it's going to be this chord, C, C and G together. So the G on the D string and the C on the A together. Okay, let's play that. Then I'm going to play the open A and E together. Okay. Then I'm going to leave the open E and play the C with that. So that's... Or... And you have to find that chord with the C and the G. So it's the G on the A string and the E on the, uh, sorry, the G on the E string and the E on the A string. So the fourth finger position. Okay. Good. Okay. Just do that a little bit. Do that a little bit. It sounds good. Everybody doing it at different times too. So. <laughs> Just noodle on it just a little bit to see. Great, right, that's it. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So you kind of get the idea of what you're what you're trying to do there. And again, you can shift, you know. If you want to, because it's easier to finger. Maybe, but I just go ahead and do the reach usually, but... Okay, so let me give you the next little bit. Let me give you the next little bit. So we're going down to an F chord, so we're going to play the same intervals. It's a D and an F together. Try that. So an F natural with a D.
Listen, let, listen to me one for just a moment here. So it's the D, find this D. Now the F natural. On the on the E string. It's the first note on the E string. Okay. Let's find the F. Let's find the F here. Find the F here. On the E string. It's the it's the first finger on the E string. Okay? And then So what we're gonna, what we're doing there is we're going. Or. Sounds pretty monstrous that way, doesn't it? Okay. And then we're gonna end up on this. The F with the C. So C, find the C on the A string. Now the F natural on the E string. Okay, that's an F chord, okay? Okay, so, so let, let me play you what you got so far. It sounds like this. Okay, let's try that together. Remember the first chord is this. Okay, here we go. Real slow. One, two, play. I tell you, if you're having a little trouble with this, like, don't be concerned. This is like pretty advanced fiddle tune to play this. It's not single note. It's, you know, you're getting a lot of reach, planned chords. This is, I'd call this a pretty advanced tune to play. Just because of that one passage. The rest of it's not so bad. But that passage is really pretty tough, you know. If you're not used to doing this kind of thing. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. okay, so from there, you're going to do this little thing. Just listen one time. I'll play you through another bar. So that lick, lick sounds like this. myself here. That's it. <laughs> Play it slow one time, just listen again. Okay, let's try that together. So let's play it from the beginning here. I'll give you a little uh, count off. One, two, play. Okay, all right, let's do that again. You have to get the timing where that, that little passive run starts. Okay, here we go, one more time. Ready, play. So from there, then you have to go find that chord again up here. Okay. Okay. Yep. Let me play through now. Let me play like through the first four bars because we're like, well, that's like two bars worth. Let me play the first four bars so it kind of holds together and makes sense, hopefully. So here we go. Play it one more time, just then I'll stop at the end of the fourth bar. Okay. Okay. So let me see if I, I can break that down here. So, so that we find this chord here, we're going to play this. Uh, let's see. Problem is playing it slow. Okay, so let me give 
are too slow now. So we're going to start on this A here when we get out of that chord. Start on this A on the E string. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Uh, great, so what we're doing is playing a scale down from A to B with, and skipping the F. That's right. Okay. Right. So from there, it's going to be. Listen one more time. Then you're going to come back up. Let me play that bit for you one more time. Just do that. So we're gonna go up to up to G. It's a... mm -hmm. Yep. Let me give you the rest of it. Okay. So that's another chord of G on the E string and D on the A string. Play it together real slow, just from right there, uh, from this B. Just listen one time. Okay, now let me play it back in context with the tune here so it makes sense here. Uh, play it one more time, listen. Okay. Find that chord. I'm just going to play up to that at kind of tempo just as a gut check so I'm not giving you a bum note here. Uh, let's see. Okay, kind of makes sense. Okay, so let's play, uh, let's play that back half passage again. There we go. Try it again. Real slow go this time. Go. Mm -hmm. One more time. Uh huh. Okay, so far we got this. Sounds like sounds like this. End. We'll get to that in just a second. Okay, so let's start at the beginning and just play all the way. I think we have enough now to play through three fourths of the way through, like all the way to bar into bar six. Okay, and then we'll all go to the bar. chromatic thing we're going to go to get back up to this. We're gonna, for, we're, so we're right here. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Start it. Play this uh, G and D together. This chord here. Then put your pinky down and play the E flat or D sharp. Then slide it out to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Listen one time, and then we'll play it together again up to the sixth bar here. Right to there again. Here we go. So, the, so you start on an open E, and then I'll just give you the first little bit. Okay. And then we're going to play F sharps instead of F naturals and go. Okay, so, so those together sound like this. Just listen. Last little bit is okay. One more time on that little bit at the end. Okay, so let's play the last two bars, the round off at the end, one more time. Just listen and then play it with me. So it's. most of it anyways. So here we go. Okay, here we go. I'll give you a little of uh, the four potatoes here. little bit uh, is more like a regular hoedown. It's just an eight bar length uh, tune. And so let me just play a little bit of that now. So.
I may not be playing all of that just exactly like you'll hear Lyman playing because mine's kind of an amalgam version of about six different people, but it's pretty it's pretty close. Okay, so let me play that one more time, it's just real slow. Sounds like this. I'll give you the first bar here. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's just play that little bit there. Uh, and then you go. Um, listen one time. So the whole thing together just sounds like this, listen. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you go right back up to this C here. Okay, listen now. So you're kind of going to work your way through the G chord there. Let's just listen one more time. So right there you're going to go, uh, then, okay, okay, listen to that part one more time. Okay, so now let's play through that second part, just kind of together, and just, as you're playing along, we'll stop and then just tell me if there's a hole or something I didn't show long enough, so, is that okay? But I think you're getting the feel for it anyway.
guess they need one to just go over more slowly or just play. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's we're gonna start back at the beginning and try to play the whole tune. So usually what you do is you play A A B B. So you got two long, you know, sixteen bar A parts and then two B parts. Which wouldn't work if you're playing for a square dance. You can only play the A part once. But, but for just playing it, I'd like to play that part twice. Okay, so let's see here. <laughs> okay, start. So here's the chord, right? The G and the G, G and the C. Here we go. So the first one that's, let's see, so we're going to do this one, let's play that together real slow. goes like this. again now. And you get through those little bits here. I won't play quite as fast. I started out a little too quick before I think. One, two, play.
do the second part here. I have second. one question. Yeah. On the first part when you're going from that the, like a G chord. Yeah. And you're coming down. Is it a D and a G and then a oh, a D and a, a F and a D and a C and an F? That's right. Okay. Yeah. So it's so it's so you're playing a uh, actually C chord. So you got G and E, and yeah. then you're going down. And then you're to, doing the. It's the same the same interval relationship. But you're going from the F stays down. The, the F stays down. Right. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, the F doesn't have to move. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, let's see. Anything else you want? Okay. It's a powerful tune. Yes. Yeah. So let's try that second part again. Here. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Something else. What time is it getting to be? I don't have a watch or a phone or anything. Oh, okay, we're good. good. Just trying to keep track here. Here we go.
through just a little bit faster, just kind of get the feel of how it would roll along. You or just Sarah? No, everybody can. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll play it for you again, kind of up to speed. Here we go. Uh, kind of a little faster than that, just so you can just hear how it sounds. And... Something like that there, yes. Yeah. 